Taja AI is one of my favorite YouTube optimization tools because they update it constantly. Now, unfortunately, Taja is leaving AppSumo in about five days. So now is the time to grab it while you still can. But I wanted to create another Taja AI review just to show you three of the newest features that recently launched. So this review will be shorter than my original one. If you want to check out my original one, just click the link in my description. Now, if you are on the hunt for the best SaaS tools to grow your business, I've been building out this private Notion doc of the newest and favorite AppSumo deals I find on a weekly basis. I also include other marketing software that you can use to grow your business. Now, if you want free access to this Notion doc, just click the link in my description. Now, if you don't want to browse my Notion doc, you can browse my custom landing page on AppSumo that includes some of my favorite deals you can purchase right now. And there's a few that are leaving in a few days as well. I also included some of my most popular YouTube videos right here, and you can watch all of these on this page. Now I'm going to focus on three of the newest features of this tool. So these are the most recent videos I optimized with Taja. Now let me open one of the newest ones. So the way Taja works is it analyzes your YouTube video, and then it provides you with tons of optimized YouTube titles and also descriptions, including tags that you can use in your YouTube videos. So the way Taja works is it analyzes your YouTube video and then it provides you with an optimized title, description, it also provides you with tags as well. You can also sift through other YouTube titles and descriptions. Now the update I wanna show you is at the very bottom under the thumbnail section. So you have the option to generate thumbnails with your face or without your face. Now let me show you how a thumbnail looks like with my face added to it. Okay, here we go. So we can see a background image, an AI generated background image, we have a screenshot of my face and it also included a uh, text on top. So I don't think these images are all too great. So you would need to regenerate to have it generate better images for you. But let's just say you don't want any text or you don't want an image. You want to upload your own custom face to your thumbnail and you just want the AI generated background. So that's where the new feature comes into play. Okay, so to show you that, I'm gonna click on fully AI generated and this background only, this is the new feature. So Taja can generate a thumbnail, but just the background only, and you can edit it further. Now, let me show you how that works. I'm gonna have it generate the images first. All right, here we go. So we just have the AI generated background image, no text or face of myself. So I'm gonna pick the one I wanna edit further. So I like this one. So I'm gonna click on this pencil icon and this is where we can edit our thumbnail. So it automatically adds my profile picture here, but I'm gonna delete that. Now I wanna add my face to this thumbnail. So I'm gonna go to uploads and you can upload your image, but I already uploaded one earlier. So I'm gonna click the one I just uploaded. Now this image has a background, but Taja can actually remove the background. So I'm gonna click on this icon, remove background. And here we go. So this is my portrait photo without the background. Now I can make it uh, larger and move it exactly uh, where I want. Okay, I think that is good. We can also add a text box. We can move it across the image and then add our own text. And we can also change the text color if we want to, the text size, make it larger or smaller, and the font. So I think this one looks pretty cool. Let me make it larger. Okay, so something like this. So now you don't need Canva. You could basically just use Taja to create your YouTube thumbnails. So after you are done editing your image, you can save it into your account. And then when you publish it via Taja, it'll use this thumbnail or you can download it as a PNG, JPEG, or SVG file. Okay, now the second newest feature is under the view repurposed content section. So I'm gonna click on that. So we can see Taja generated 15 shorts, one clip, and four text options for us, including a full on blog post. So what we could do, say for example, for these shorts, we could scroll through, see the ones we like, and then manually uh, publish them or schedule them to go out later. But the new feature is the bulk 
auto schedule. This is where you can pick multiple repurposed content and then schedule them to all go out at specific days and times. So this is a great feature to use if you wanna keep your social media profiles as fresh as possible with content. So we first need to select the repurposed content we want to publish. So I'm gonna select these three shorts, then click on continue. And this is the bulk auto schedule feature, okay? So we can select the social media profiles we want to automatically publish to. So we have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and X. So for me, I want to automatically publish on my TikTok and my YouTube profile. And this is where we set the reoccurring schedule. So we can set the exact days and times we want Taja to automatically publish the pieces of content we selected in the previous step. So maybe every Mondays from eight to nine, and also maybe in the afternoon on Mondays. So I can say something like four to 5 p.m. on Mondays. So we can schedule maybe three times for YouTube. And then for TikTok, we can schedule um, every Tuesdays and maybe also every Fridays. After you are done picking your days and times, then you can click on schedule. And if you go to your content calendar, you can see when your content is gonna be published and for uh, which social media account. So this is a great way to have a fully running automated content machine. So you will have constant content that's being pushed out to promote your product services and of course your long form YouTube video. Now when it comes to these posts, in most cases, you wanna have control in terms of the uh, post description you want to show. And that's where the third newest update comes into play, okay? So let me go back. So we are back in our repurposed content view. So let's just say we want to post uh, this first reel right here. Now you'll notice there is the title and the description. Now, depending on the social media platform, maybe we just want to show either just the title or just the description. So with this new update, Taja allows us to pick either of these two. So I'm gonna click on schedule. So we have our title here and our description. Now this option is available only for some um, social media profiles. It does work with TikTok. So for the caption, we can decide if we want to have Taja post the title, this one, or post the description, this one. So we can select which one we want. And then the same goes for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and X. Now I can't toggle these on because I need to connect my profiles with Taja, but with those ones, you can select either a title and description. So now you will have the perfect caption to go along with your videos. So as you can see, Taja is a great tool that you can use to optimize your YouTube videos and also create shorts, clips, and text to promote your long form videos and your products and services across your social media profiles. Now, don't forget to grab Taja AI while you still can. And if you wanna check out my other must have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs, you can grab this Notion spreadsheet for free by clicking the link in my description or you can click the link right over here to access it. And if you wanna check out my next video, feel free to click this one right over here. Now, please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about Taja, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks.